If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zarin Tech on Workday's Calculation Engine for Payroll. I'm going to provide an overview of calculations in Workday and how they are used for earnings, deductions, and pay balances. Let's start with a quick disclaimer, this presentation is for informational purposes only. Please ensure you comply with all copyright laws and do not reproduce or transmit this content without permission. I will provide an overview of calculations in Workday Payroll and how they are used. We will explore the different categories of calculations, including those that return a numeric, date, or Boolean value. I will also cover some common payroll-specific calculations like earnings, deductions, and pay balances. By the end of this presentation, you should have a solid understanding of calculations and how they drive many payroll processes in Workday. Calculations are a key component in Workday payroll. They allow you to configure payroll rules and determine pay components. Calculations can return a numeric value, date, or Boolean. The return value drives downstream processes. There are a few main categories of calculations. First, we have calculations that return a numeric value like an hourly wage rate, bonus amount, or deduction total. These are often used to determine earnings and deductions. Next, there are calculations that return a date value like a hire date, review date, or job transfer date. Dates can be used in eligibility rules. Finally, Boolean calculations return a true or false. These are commonly used for eligibility and control whether someone qualifies for a certain earning or deduction. The most common type of calculation returns a numeric value. These can perform various operations to determine amounts. Let's explore some examples of calculations that return a numeric value. One common use case is to look up a pay rate based on job profile and pay grade. This calculation would retrieve the hourly wage rate from a compensation matrix. Another example is prorating a bonus based on the number of months employed during the bonus period. This involves dividing the target bonus by 12 and multiplying by the number of months worked. Again, this returns a numeric value that determines the bonus payout amount. More advanced numeric calculations may leverage lookup tables. These provide a single place to update data and can handle high volumes during payroll runs. For example, tax brackets and rates can be stored in a table and looked up based on marital status and gross pay. Lookup tables provide a single source of data that can be reused across calculations. This is helpful for handling high data volumes and payroll runs. A common date calculation is to determine the next review date by adding 12 months to the most recent review date. This generates the date when an employee is due for their next performance evaluation. Another example is calculating the eligibility date for 401k enrollment. This may return the higher date plus 60 days as a waiting period before the plan can be joined. Return date values like these are helpful for determining eligibility windows. Boolean or true slash false calculations return a simple yes or no value. These are useful for determining eligibility, status flags, etc. For example, we may check if an employee's job profile is sales to determine if they qualify for a sales bonus, or verify if the hire date was over one year ago to grant PTO. Boolean calculations allow payroll to apply rules consistently across the organization. In addition to those general calculation types, there are some calculations specific to payroll. Now let's look at some common payroll-specific calculations. These include earnings, deductions, and pay balances. Let's walk through examples of each. These include earnings, deductions, and pay balances. Let's walk through examples of each. Earnings calculations determine the amount that will be paid to an employee. This could be regular pay, overtime, bonuses, commissions, and more. Built-in methods like wage basis, hours worked, and proration simplify earnings configuration. Deductions are the reverse. They calculate amounts that should be subtracted from gross pay. Common deductions are taxes, health premiums, 401k contributions, union fees, and garnishments. Deductions support cascading thresholds, like calculating federal, state, and local taxes. They can also return negative values to provide credits that increase net pay. Pay balances bring together all earning and deduction values. 
they start with a core balance like gross pay then subtract deductions to determine net pay. Pay balances are accumulated over time and stored historically. This allows reporting on an employee's pay over any time period. Balances can be accumulated and reported at different frequencies, per check, monthly, quarterly, or annually. This enables flexible reporting for payroll analysis and external regulatory filings. Finally, pay components like earnings and deductions can be organized into logical groupings. Groups make it easier to configure related pay components in bulk. For example, all tax deductions may be in a taxes group. The groupings also allow reporting by categories like regulatory pay or health benefits. That concludes the key highlights of calculations and workday payroll. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe our channel to get more information on Calculation Engine. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.